All right, so who do you think is going to be the stiffest competition for you today? Uh, you know, I haven't looked at the sign-up list recently, but uh, Hoba is, is here, and that's who I would put at the top of the GTV list. Um, so I think he'll be the guy to watch and try and keep up with or beat. Does he already have an invite to Vegas? Yeah. Yeah, so he won uh, an invite the first event of the year at Vegas. Okay. Um, and then, you know, with D&E, &E, the scores this car has been getting lately, um, you know, that makes it really tough because I've been consistently getting, like, top two or three in the driving elements, but, you know, I'm, like, sixth, seventh, you know, sometimes not even top ten in... Um, just in the class and D and E, so that's the big, huge unknown variable. So for me, that means I'm not like too going crazy about the competition. Like I just want to, you know, get some respectable times in, have some fun. I think that Nick is a good, strong competitor. His 72nd gen. I heard that uh, Meyer was supposed to come down. I was looking forward to mixing it up with him in the Mustang and Old Blue, but. Um, my understanding is he's not here, so that's too bad. Does this look straight to you? Right, yeah, right there. Um, so, and I gotta look, you know, like, uh, Erickson and his four-door Chevelle does some pretty amazing things on the autocross. Yeah, hiding here behind I mean, us. never mind, he's standing right there, so he's yeah. terrible. Uh, my uh, other main uh, competitor and uh, fellow team arch enemy, Efren Diaz, is not here with this car, so normally I'd be putting him in contention. Oh, you know what? I don't know if he showed up. Chris Ramey was supposed to be here in his uh, C4 Corvette with a bunch of D&E, like new paint job and everything, but I don't know if he made it. Anyway. What's the year cutoff for GTV? It's like 1990 or something oh, like okay. that, so anything older than that. I'll tell you one of my favorite cars that's here that I need to go check out is um, uh, Sean Fogley's 82 or 84 Volvo 240 that he did an LSA swap into and like it is beautiful everything that guy built is beautiful so that car like if I had to vote for participants choice without walking around yet I would be like picking that car all right here's Chad out here looking to improve on a 37.5 tracks a little warm right now so everybody's going slow in this session Oh my gosh, look at that. 36.8. Alright, here's Chad again. Currently sitting in second, out of first by two tenths. So we need to go faster than a 36.6. Oh, a little sideways there. Might not be it right here. Oh my gosh, 36.6.7. I think that's still off a hundredth for first, but that is a damn good lap. We'll take a look at the stats here in a sec. All right, and here's Chad. So he's got a 36.67. He needs to go quicker than a 36.63. And not gonna do a 36.90. Currently sitting in the number one spot. He is the last to run, so as long as the officials say that Hobot got that cone, which I didn't see anything, uh, I was over in the pits. So this should just be a glory lap for Chad for the win. But I'm sure he wants to put a nail in the coffin and make sure. 36-3. Dude, how about just letting it all hang out? That's what it was all about, dude. Just making sure that that cone that Hobob may or may not have gotten 
Uh, yeah, as long as my run's clean, dude, I am happy right now. Yes, <laughs> awesome, man. GTV class winner, autocross. Woo! Yeah! currently sitting in second on the speed stop. He's got a 13.95 in the right lane and a 13.96 in the left. This is his second session. He doesn't need to improve much to go back to first, but Tommy is in first. He's still got another session too. So Chad's going to need to be able to go probably a tenth quicker on both right and left to to not only regain the lead and maybe hold it for a little while. So 14.0 on that one, so no improvement. All right, Chad again, now he's doing the left lane, running up against Jordan Priestley and Bernice. Again, we need to improve on a 13.96. Not gonna do it. 14.13 on that lap. All right, this is Chad's third chance in the second session here. Still looking to improve on that 13.95. Uh, looked, looked a little timid out of the gate there. Reaction time doesn't affect time. Ooh, got that cone. Come on, come on. Oh, too hot, too hot. Oh, that was a 13A, but yeah, a little too hot into the stop box. All right, run three, second session for Chad. Still looking to improve on that 13.96. Technically only needs to pick up a couple hundreds to move into first, but Tommy's still gotta come out and do his afternoon runs too. Just barely got the cone. No improvement anyways. All right, I think this is the fourth and final lap for Chad. Gotta get some improvement because everybody that's behind him in the list right now still have not ran. Can't tell if he got cones. Oh, he did. Well, that was an improvement, but just a little bit too aggressive into the box. And this should be the last lap in the left lane here for Chad. And we're looking to improve. A 13.96. Try to get him up in the first, but we need a little bit more just to be able to hold it. Oh, too, too aggressive. Too, too, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That was a 14.02. All right, well, let's hope that that stands. All right, 
here we go. Intermediate Group B, Chad and Sal. Chad looking to improve. Got a high 116. In third place with a score of 431 points, car number 158, Michael Cuthbertson. Mm -hmm. I can't
can't believe he didn't stay. He's only got 20 hours to drive. Um, next, in second place, with a total of 449 points, car number 268, the 68 Chevy Camaro of Chad Riker. <laughs> and the winner in our Classic Car Liquidators GTV class with a total score of 459 points, car number 320, the 73 Chevy Camaro of Brian Hobal. <laughs> there you go. Brian, congratulations. This has been, gosh, it's just a brutal weekend um, on, on people, on equipment. Um, I noticed that you were pretty conservative with the amount of time that you were running your stuff as yes. well. Tell us about your strategy. Well, coming in, I was going after Smitty. I had to get 490 to get him. I gave it a shot, that, but that didn't happen after yesterday. So today was just a matter of preserve the car and do well enough to get this. Got it. That's actually a really good strategy. Yeah. So you've got your invite. <coughs> You've already accepted your invite to Vegas. Yes. So that means, how about we bring Chad Riker right, Chad. up here on stage? Yeah. Congratulations. Now I know, I know for you too, it was a, it was a pretty tough weekend. Things yeah. were not working exactly as you wanted them to, but you stuck it out. You were out there that very last session, continuing to push hard. This was a close race. It was, it was ten points. It was all it really was. Um, Tell us how your weekend went. Uh, it started off rough because I did a full brake job earlier in the week and there was some shimming interference issues with the caliper and rotors and first lap on the autocross. I'm just hearing brrr, brrr, as I'm oh, turning. Oh, self-clearancing option. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, so the whole morning was like a mental case at that point. Um, but picked it back up, decided that the self-clearancing was the acceptable solution for Saturday, and uh, figured out some stuff, and you know, was super stoked to pick up a bunch of time in the afternoon. Um, and then went home last night, Sal helped me, we took it all apart, fixed it so that when we were going over 100 miles an hour, there was no more self-clearancing <laughs> issues. And uh, yeah, I was just trying to keep the car cool and me cool today and run as fast as I could. That last session, um, we had an issue with the course, had to reset it, you came in and you actually had to sit while the rest of your group went out. Right. How tough was that to sit there and watch the rest of the group while your car cooled down just a little bit to be able to go back out there? Honestly, not that hard. It was the last <laughs> session of the day. I was just as hot as the car was, so yeah. I was like, I'll take this break, it's okay. And uh, you know, got to go out and throw down hard and uh, was actually on track according to my phone to potentially run my fastest lap but hit lap traffic and it wouldn't have changed the outcome of this you know it wasn't sure. that much better but um, yeah I had a fun day. Awesome well you're no stranger to the Ultimate Streetcar Invitational would you like to come to Las Vegas and try one more time representing Team Arch Enemies and come <laughs> on out and have fun in Vegas Yes? Absolutely. 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 Chad, congratulations. Thank you. Ryan, well done. Nice job, Ryan. That is your Classic Car Liquidators GTV class.